Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and this is my husband Mark. Hello. And this is Small Stuff Big Family. Today we're going to be doing a tag. It's the how country or how southern are you? I've seen it both ways. Like question and answer. There are 16 questions all about how country or southern you are. And I thought it would be fun for us to do together because Mark has lived in the country his whole life um, and I am still fairly new to it. So I thought like the, the, it would be fun for us both to answer the questions and see how different our answers are. Before we get started, I want to say thank you to my good friend Frances at Wife Stuff because she kind of put together this um, question and answer. So if you want to participate, please go over and give Frances some love. Um, I will also leave a couple others. I've seen Tiffany Jetter and Tiffany at um, Our Small Town Life and Tony at Chaotic Country. They have all done this tag. Those are the only people that I've seen do it so far. So if you want to participate, let me know down in the comments below and I'll also tag your video in my description box so without further ado let's get started okay the first question is do you say y'all or you all I think I say you all do you you don't say y'all I don't believe I think you do I say y'all I also say like you guys like I think I don't know it just kind of depends on what I'm trying to say like if I'm talking to the kids and like trying to get them to do something, I'll be like, you guys, you know, <laughs> like trying to get people's attention. But just like in casual conversation, I feel like the y'all comes out. I never say you all for sure. It's either y'all or like you guys or something like that. I had friends growing up, like when I was little, I had friends that said yuns. Yuns? <laughs> yuns. <laughs> I can't even, it doesn't even come that's out right. South. Yeah, that's. That's, I feel like that's real southern. I don't know where, what part of the country that comes from, but yeah, I had good friends of mine whenever I was growing up that would say, you and you and you and I was down when I lived in Springfield. So, um, that's where you, you don't ever your, say y'all? No, that's where you got your y'all from. Y'all. <laughs> y'all going back there. Question number two is, have you ever sipped from the garden hose? <laughs> Yesterday. Yesterday. A couple times. I did when I was a kid. I would not do it now unless I was completely just, I don't know, desperate. But I haven't I would... today yet, but I, I'm sure I will no. before the day's over. No. I just... Usually at least a couple times a day. I fill up my water from the sink inside the house, from the kitchen sink. Look how hoity-toity you are. I don't drink out of the cup. Or out of the hose. <laughs> I drink out of the cup. I drink out of the hose all the time. So do the girls. Yeah, the kids drink out of the hose too, and I did when I was a kid too. I mean, I'm still a kid at heart. You're probably not gonna die from it. Question number three is: Have you ever been mudden? Mud, mudden, mudden. Is that how you say? It? <laughs> Mud, mudden. <laughs> the fact that you have so much trouble saying it, I think, gives you the answer. I've never been mudden. I've been like in a parking lot, like doing like donuts in the parking lot. Is that kind of the same thing? But in the mud. No. Oh, that's I thought that's what mudden was. <laughs> like you just do a bunch of like circles in a truck in the mud. There's a lot of things you can do. Okay, have you been mudding? Mud, yes, I mudding. have been mudding before. A few times. How do you say it? Mudden. Mudden. <laughs> mudden. <laughs> Sounds like a made up word. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have been. Okay. Actually, uh, I was pretty good at it. <laughs> I got a trophy to prove it. Here, hold it close so they can see what it says. She asked me this question. I said, yes, I've been mudding. First annual union FFA. What does FFA stand for? Future Farmers of America. Muddy Truck Contest. First place in 2000. I was still in high school. I was actually out of high school. That was the year after I graduated. So, he has a first place trophy. Yeah, we went a lot when we were around that age. You don't do circles? Yeah, you do circles, oh, donuts. Okay. Well, see, I was right, kind of. I mean, you do all kinds of things, I don't know. Yeah. You'd probably like it, actually. No, I would probably be terrified. I don't even like it when you like veer off the shoulder a little bit and it goes like, No, I'm saying like if you actually already <laughs> in the mud like and like it. just actually started, I think you would. 
I'm fine. I, you don't think I'd be scared? Well, you're scared of everything. <laughs> you actually have fun, I think. Moving on. Okay, question number four is, do you own a pair of cowboy boots? <laughs> yes. It's just funny to me. <laughs> like, four pair. Yeah, a lot. I'm wearing a pair right now. He's wearing some now. <laughs> I do own a pair of cowgirl boots, but I didn't until I met you when we went on um, when we went on our honeymoon to Nashville. I got a pair of cowboy boots in Nashville. That was my first pair of cow. Would it be cowgirl boots? Yeah. Cowgirl boots. Sure. But they're real nice. <laughs> Should I show them? So here's my cowgirl boots. My first pair. I'm so proud of them. I actually really like them. Like, with certain outfits, they look real cute. And I actually do wear them. Like, not super often, but like when I need to. That's why I wear mine, too. I think with certain outfits, they look really cute. <laughs> <laughs> like every outfit I wear. Yeah. It's basically anything. If you're not wearing tennis shoes, you're probably wearing those. Usually, unless I'm wearing shorts. It's about the only time. Sometimes, sometimes even with shorts. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> With shorts, like when you're watering the pumpkin patch, you're wearing cowboy boots and shorts. Mm -hmm. Question number five is Do you own any camo clothing? Yes. I mean, I mean, it's a little bit on there. <laughs> and it's like I, a little splash. A little splash, but he owns a lot of camo clothing, like hunting clothing and just like casual clothing. Everything is camo for him, basically. Unless I bought it for him. But I do have this. I you got, have other things. I got this. A pair of shorts but and like, camo. My camo is like the fashion kind of camo. Like, I don't own any of this type of camo. Disgraceful. <laughs> I can't believe you admit that on camera. How can I be a farmer's wife with no camo, honey? <laughs> Question number six is, have you ever been fishing? Yes. 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 I get videos of it even. Yeah, actually, the first time that I've caught a fish, at least in a very long time, maybe the first time since I've been an adult, was when we went on our glamping trip. <laughs> Look how cute he is. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I used to go a lot when I was a kid too. Like, my dad was really into fishing. When we were younger, we would go to like the trout fisheries, is what he really liked to do. Um, so, we did a lot of trout fishing when I was little. I used to go fishing a lot more than I do now, but I still go quite a bit. My daughters both like to fish a lot. Now Lexi's getting into liking to fish a little bit more. She was scared of it at first, but Michaela really got into it, and then Paisley started to a little bit more. And I think Lexi will come around more, but like I said, at first she was just like terrified of the Yeah. <laughs> like anytime we'd catch one, she'd be like freak out. <laughs> well, I don't the, know who she would get that from. And then the first time we went fishing, your mom kind of... Okay, Grammy, I know you're watching this. You kind of traumatized her, so she didn't want anything to do with it because she kept saying there were snakes in the water and yeah. like, freaking out about that. Yeah, that was like, I think that was like his first, that time, was the first time fishing ever. Yeah, that was her first time fishing. So between your mom's fear of snakes and your fear of frogs, it's like she has a hard time getting by the water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared of snakes. I don't like the frogs, though. So. Question number seven, is country music part of your playlist? 95%. For you. <laughs> For you. Maybe not quite 95, but most of it. That's pretty much what I listen to every day. So we have like a playlist that we made on iTunes for like anytime we're like riding in the car together. Um, that like he picked a song and then I picked a song and like we went back and forth and made a playlist that That's way. Idea. Yeah, that was his idea because rather than like listening to like all country or like all gangsta rap. <laughs> <laughs> not just that I listen to like Christian music I listen to rap music, hip hop, R&B I listen to oldies I listen to some country I listen, I listen to alternative rock 90's music is like a big thing for me and actually like really like 90's country is probably one of my still one of my favorite like country music genres and then question number 8 is who are some of your favorite country music artists? My favorite going right now is Jason Aldean. It's one of the main ones, I, or one of my favorites I listen to now. I listen to like older country, um, like George Strait, Brooks and Dunn. I listen to Toby Keith. Um, I don't know, you can name pretty much anybody. Alan Jackson. And then when you go back older yet, like Merle Haggard and George Jones and Bo Cephas. I mean, keep going. 
<laughs> you like all the men. You don't like any women country singers? I like Reba. Okay. I like Reba. I like the older country women singers. I think a lot of the newer ones I'm not so crazy about, just, just to be honest. but. I like Reba. I like the Judds. Those are probably like my top two. Like Terry Clark used to be really good. Oh yeah, she was good. Newer stuff I love, um, like Kane Brown. He's one of my favorites now. And uh, Darius Rucker, I really like him. Of course, I was a big Hootie and the Blowfish fan, so that's probably part of the reason. <laughs> Those ones that like kind of cross over tend to be the ones that I like. Blake. I think Blake is definitely yeah. one of my favorite current country music singers, and that may be because of his wife or woman. Not really. He and Jason O'Neill are my two favorites going right now. I don't know why I didn't even say them earlier, but that's like the two main yeah. ones that I, I probably like a lot of my playlists. Yeah, Blake is like so entertaining. We saw him in concert and of course Glenn made an appearance and that made it even better. I love all Trace of their Atkins. songs together. Trace Atkins was there. Yeah, he was. They were really, really good in concert. So, and Kane Brown and Jason Aldean, we saw them together too and they put on a pretty good show too. I'm not as big into the Jason Aldean because he just sounds a little more, can that fly go away? I don't know. I just think that Jason Aldean sounds a little more like rock. Than what I like. That's probably why I like it. It's a little bit of a crossover. Yeah, you like more like the rock country, and I'm more like more of like the soulful country is what I like. Can you make biscuits and gravy? Can you, honey? <laughs> Can I? I don't know. Come on, I'm wanting to know. I probably could if I tried. Can it be like like popping the butt the popping the can of biscuits out? And put those in the oven and then like the little sure. packet, the packet of biscuits. I'll give you the... Or a packet of gravy. I was going to say, I was gonna say, I'll give you the biscuits, but not the gravy. you got to make the gravy from scratch. Well, I don't know. I've never tried, so... <laughs> <laughs> can you? Yes. Yes, he can. I do most of the time. He can. He's good at I don't make my biscuits from scratch. I'm not going to say I do. I probably could, but I, I just don't. Yeah. I don't have that kind of time. i got too much other stuff to do. <laughs> No, but you make good gravy. Question number 10 is, have you ever been to a rodeo? Yeah, we have. <laughs> I've been to several. How many have you been to? I've been to one. <laughs> I went to... Who'd you go with? I went to... It just says a rodeo. Yes, I have been to a rodeo <laughs> with you and Lexi. And Lexi. Yeah. Me and Lexi's first rodeo was not that long ago. It was just like a real small one, like here local at like a local saddle club but it was really fun like I would go again it was entertaining it was like a youth rodeo I mean there were some older kids and stuff in it but it was a saddle club put mm -hmm. on like a local one but it was fun I think I would go to like a bigger one too like if the coronavirus ever allows that again question number 11 is is there a sweet tea in your ice box yes I Most do know what time. an ice box is <laughs> I did know that already <laughs> I don't call it that we call it the fridge but Ours is usually unsweet tea, and then we we add artificial sweeteners. Yep. We don't. It's not like full like southern sweet tea either. I mean, like no. that's too sweet for me. I mean, but yeah, I do like sweet tea. See, I don't. I don't like sweet tea. I like unsweetened iced tea, and you add your own like artificial sweeteners to it. So I feel like a real southerner is going to be like. It's if not you're, really sweet tea for it's, them. It's not sweet tea if you're if it's tea with artificial sweetener in it, but. That's how we make our sweet tea. And we do have some in the fridge now, so. Question number 12 is, have you ever been to a drive-in? Yes. Yes. We have been together. Had you been before we went together? Honestly, no. See, and that's something that I grew up doing. Like, we used to go to the drive-in a lot when I was a kid, and my dad's El Camino. We There's just to, not that many around anymore. We used to ride in the back of the El Camino. <laughs> really fun so I got you beat there got me beat there honey it's honestly like whenever I was a single mom is when I really got into going to the drive-in with the kids because it's so cheap like you just pay for the adult ticket price and then you can see like two movies with all your kids for like 12 bucks so that's the main reason I like the drive-in now but we used to go all the time when I was a kid too Question 13 is, do you or someone you know own a truck? Yes. I think the better question for this would be... <laughs> How many? <laughs> do we know anybody who doesn't own a truck? Like, 
Do you know anybody that doesn't own a truck? I mean, I know people that don't own a truck. You do? I don't know anybody that doesn't. Obviously, I don't know anybody that knows it, owns a truck because... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, I mean, he owns a truck. Like, he has a... You've got a big old truck. Two big old trucks. Yeah. He's got one that... Well, I had three. He's got one that don't even run. It just sits in our workshop. <laughs> it's a toy. It's a toy. It's a toy that most people would go mudding with. Yeah, anyway. He's never seen the mud. Maybe you should get it running and then we can go mudding in it one time. <laughs> Have you ever been ate up by no -seums? Do you know what, a, you don't know what a no is? I'm assuming is? they're talking like chiggers is what, is what I'm guessing they're calling those. I don't know what else a no -seum. I've never heard it called that. that must chiggers? Be, that must be more southern. So the only reason that I know what a no is is from down in Florida. They have them really, really bad down there. So like whenever I used to go down to Florida, like... They're like flying bugs, but they're like teeny, teeny, tiny. Like you almost can't even see them, but they will bite the crap out of you. That's but a no for me. Yeah. That's going to be a no. Yeah. <laughs> Chiggers are like so tiny that you don't see them too. That's what I thought was the same thing, but I have no idea. I, I don't, when I seen that question, I that's what, what I assumed they were. I Chiggers I've been ate up, but they don't really bother me as bad as they do other people. Yeah, I get but, bad eaten up by chiggers, but yeah, no, um, no seams. I think that's, I know that they're in Florida. I don't know that I've been around them anywhere else, but I have been bit up by them. They're pesky little things. Question 15 is, what is your favorite Southern saying? I don't even know. You don't have a favorite Southern saying? I don't know what it would be. I mean, you tell me. I talk to you all the time. Do I ever say anything that's Southern saying? I don't know. She was madder than a wet hen. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of country sayings I, I guess you I use and you yeah, give me trouble about, but I don't know if that's really southern or you always give me trouble about raining around. Something. Raining around. Yes. Yes. I think that's your favorite southern saying. Is that is southern? Raining it's raining around. I don't know. It's country as hell is what it is. <laughs> I don't know if it's other stuff you give me trouble about. Like when it's raining, he'll say, it's raining around. I'm like, around what? Like Around us. It's just raining. I tried to explain this to her. I don't understand how she Normal doesn't Normal people it. just say it's raining, like, and that's... Normal people don't say it's raining, because obviously you say that, and you're by far not normal. <laughs> Anybody that watches these videos knows that. <laughs> just saying that right now. Hold your horses. I thought that's a southern phrase. That's the only one that I use probably a lot. I use that with the kids when they keep asking me the same question over and over again and I'm in the middle of doing something else. Since that one video. Hold your I horses. Say, I say old son all the time. Is that southern? Old son. No, you got that from a TikTok. It's not a southern saying. Yeah, but it's uh there's a old it's son. from it's from like I don't know who ever started it. I mean it's in Charlie Daniels, it's in Oh, like, is it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's in Charlie Daniels' song. I mean, he was pretty southern. Okay. So I don't know if that's southern or not. I'm going to go with raining around is, it's raining around. It's probably the most country thing that comes out of your mouth most of the time. And hold your horses is probably what I say. Okay, question 16. The last question is, what part of the south are you from? We are from Missouri. So I don't even think Missouri is really considered the south. Midwest. It's kind of one of those states that can go... I think it depends on if you're from southern Missouri. I think the southern Missouri, yeah. like the Boot Hill and down like towards Springfield where you were from, like getting closer to Arkansas. Yeah. I think that is pretty southern, but that, I don't really know if they, I mean... Well, my dad's there's... from Arkansas, so... He's... Like the lower half of Missouri is considered part of the south. But my dad's think, pretty uh... southern. I would say Missouri is like, uh, we're, I consider us in the Midwest. I don't really consider Especially us... Especially where we are. Yeah. And we're I, like in the middle of the state. So. But I'm from Southern Missouri, so take mm -hmm. that or leave it. So that is it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below. Do you guys think that you are country, Southern, a little bit, not at all? Let me know in the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. <laughs> it helps channels like mine to grow. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> Bye, y'all. Ha, ha, ha.